with this plug right here that we just set up uh, just in the previous video. You can go back to that video how we completely created this plug. And now we are going to design this so that it will look unique. Although we are using the theme called Nive. Because when you use Nive, of course, you have a lot of blood which ha have similar design on our blood. So to make that really simple, just keep watching this video the whole time so that you will learn all the tricks that I will be adding in order for us to design and change the way it looks in a very easy way. So let's get started. So first, we need a simple icon right here for our blood. So what we can do, come to this website, circuitai.online. You go to this free image generator. And here, let's just type a prompt just like this, a simple logo for just like that. So because our website, it's all about vegan stuff. So we will have this prompt right here. And then your API key, of course, you can acquire that from this link. And then we make that a square. And here we can also say paint color background so that we can easily remove the background color and make that transparent. Now let's run this. Let's generate this AI image. Let's remove the simple, generate this logo. And look at this, I think uh, this will work. So let's use this later on. If you want to change the logo, you can do that just, just by doing the same approach. So let's save this logo for now. And in this website, Potofia, let's remove the background. So let's open a new project and let's have it as just square because we just need it as logo. So any square will do. So let's say this one right here. So let's create this and let's paste our image just like that. And we resize that. I think that's enough. And then we uh, use this magic tool, background magic tool. You click anywhere on the background image and then hit that delete and uh, delete all other existing uh, background just like that. And I think we're good to go. So let's save this as our logo. Now going back to our blog right here. So we go to dashboard and here take this appearance and then go to teams. Out here in our teams, uh, just go to customize. So first we want to change the logo. So just click anywhere here on the site name right here and you will be landed in this section where you can upload your logo. So let's upload our logo. So here I'll just uh, click this skip cropping. All right, there you go. That's our logo. I'll select this, uh, that it's this option. So you will have the title of the site as well. Just like that. If you don't want the tagline right here, you can just turn it off here. All right, so, oops, sorry. That's the site title. Turn it off the tagline so you will just have the site title but anyway there's nothing wrong to keep the tagline so we'll we'll keep it all right now that you have this where you may i think we can have this one on the side the tagline on the side i think this one looks much better and then here in the site icon you can also upload the same logo so let's do that so I, i'll just select this existing one right here and then click on select skip cropping and there you go. We now have our icon that you will see on the top of your browser. And then click on publish. So that's the one. Now, what I wanted to do is, so this is how our home homepage look like. It's very plain. So to design that, first, let's add more articles to here. We have actually here ready in the draft mode. So let's just publish more articles in the post. All right. So here are the draft article so let's just publish two more so that we can clearly see how if we design our blog we can clearly see how it looks like uh, when we have more contents on the front page of our site so you click on edit apply and then here in the status let's publish these two more articles all right so now going to our Neve teams and then the customize we'll see right here we have uh, five published blogs on our home page so to make this more attractive the design right here what you can do is come back here to circuit ai that online and click this back shadow sample so you can scroll down so let's say for example you want to have all your cards here to look like this shadow right here or this one so it's up to you which one you prefer so let's okay now let's say i want this design right here so you just simply click that all right now go back to here you click this option right here additional css all right so you do this early bracket just like that and then paste the design that you copied right here and then add this CSS property margin margin uh, all right just sorry not margin padding all right so let's say you can adjust this accordingly later so that you can acquire your desired appearance now to be able to apply that what you need to do is right click one of the cards right here on inspect so here in the card you will see this tag right here which is article so 
when you select that, as you can see, it's selecting one of the card, just like that, and grab the class name, class name, which is just below the article, which is this one. So grab this article dash call. So copy that. So you will see the transformation here instantly. So here, again, going back here, make sure you add the dot, then this one. Look at this, guys. It ought immediately transform into a beautiful cards, just like that. All right. Now, you can adjust the padding if it's these are not enough for you, but I think these are enough. So you can do publish. What I want to do is make these as two columns only so that it looks much better. So here in the layout, you can go to blog archive. So here, change it to just two. Look at that. This is looking much better compared to three columns. So two columns will be nicer. All right. So click on publish. Now here, I want to have, instead of this author right here, I want to have the category name. So to do that, here, post meta, you can see that in the post meta, just remove this author, all right, and take this category. You will see there is the category, and then we remove the author, all right? I think this looking good now, all right? Then you publish it. Now, going to inside the individual posts, so if you want to see more of the cards appearing here. Let's generate more articles. So here, if we want to add more articles, let's go back to our list that we used in the previous video. So here you can see we've got a bunch of articles here. And I want to take in the category vegetarian versus vegan. So let's take like uh, five more topics right here and we will publish them. So go to article AI generator and we click on generate bulk articles. So I'm going to paste that right there and choose the writer engine. And this is feature that I wanted to always add the generate featured image automatically and it auto post that we already added the site our site here which is this one and make sure you keep it that's draft because this is an expired domain so we don't want to uh, publish articles we want to publish articles gradually now let's add this five more content so that we can clearly see how it appears and click on generate and as you can see right here these five articles are, are generating so let's wait for some time you will see right there, our five new blog posts have been completed successfully and they're auto posted. So we can go back to our site and now let's go to our dashboard, go to our dashboard. So these are all our five new articles and they are all hand categorized. Now, since we gathered it from this category, I'm just creating this new category right here. So let's add this new category, the vegetarian versus vegan, just like that. And Click this add new category, go to our post and select these five new uncategorized blog posts. If you are, if you have generated a lot, example 20, you can just filter to uncategorized right here. So you will just have all the new blog posts and then click on select all and here, bulk edit and then include that in our new category right here. And then you can publish it right away. Click on update, but I don't want to publish them right away because this is a, an expired domain and we don't want to be penalized by Google. So we are just publishing this gradually. So let's just add two, just two articles on this category. So for example, this two, and I'm going to publish this, publish this two. All right. Now going back to our blog uh, right here. So this is now how it looks like. So look at this. These are the new blog posts, vegetarian versus vegan. So these is the category name of these two blog posts and we have different categories already published and that's how it's looking now. Now let's continue designing the actual blog post. So look at this, this is very plain. So the simple trick that I'm going to do is the same one that we did for cards. So go back to our customize the team uh, that we are here in a single blog post. What I want to do is right click again, the same one and click on ins inspect. Now grab again the class name of the wrapper, which is this one right here. So we grab this single post container, we copy that and go to this additional CSS again. So make another line, the class name, start with a dot and then paste the class name just like that. All right, go back to search it AI online and then choose another background right here. Uh, so let's choose this number 20, just uh, click and copy and then go back here, paste it just like that. Look at this. It instantly transform now to make it look better add padding so usually for single blog posts maybe 30 px look at this so on the side make it i think increase further 35 all right look at that i think that's enough so the one we will need to increase is the width of this wrapper right here this container so we publish this and go back to the main menu right here go to layout go to this container this one you can increase this to maybe three 
All right, just like that. Look at that. Or maybe just 1,300. All right, so that's how it looks like now. So that's how simply you can make your blog design unique, even if you are using the popular theme, uh, which is in our case, Nive. We are using Nive, but still we are able to change and make the design unique. All right, now here we don't want these recent comments. I'm just gonna remove this from the sidebar right here. So you can just click any of these elements and here. So once you remove it, again, you can publish and here you can increase the recent post number. So take this post right here, please click any post right here and click these three dots to show more settings. So come down here, I want to keep it as 20. So when you have a lot of published posts already, so at least 20 will be displayed here in the recent post. Click on publish. All right, so that's it. That's how simple you can sign your blog post even if you're using a common theme. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is you have this name of the theme right here in the footer. So to be able to remove that, before that, let's remove this comment because I don't want comment to be displaying in a single individual post. So what you can do is go back to this main list right here, go to layout, go to single post, and here you can remove this by this post meta. So remove this comment right here. All right, and here in the page element, remove the comments as well. So now you don't have the comments. All right, you just simply have the blog post right there and click on published. I thank you. It's all the elements that you need. Now, again, the last thing I want to show you is how you can remove the uh, team name right here. So you go back to the dashboard here, in the dashboard. Now in the appearance, click this theme file editor. All right. Now here, select this header footer, select this core and builder. And then here you will see this footer that PHP, you select that. And once the file is loaded, go down to line 165 right here, 165. So make a comment just like that and click on update file. Now, when you go to your main site and you scroll down and you'll see there's no longer the team name. All right. And I think this is looking great. It's simple yet effective design. So you can apply this in all your theme in your blog if you want to design and you're not you're not a pro designer and you're just a beginner, you can apply this approach. And that's about it, guys. I hope you get some value out of this video. And if you do, please don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. What you the next one?